I joined the server and all of the piggies ran up to me. You can buy my strategy guide online right now. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna show you guys another set of awesome Cube World models today. So in my last review, I asked you guys for a little like challenge and I asked you guys for 2000 likes and you guys hit that in less than a couple of days. So I'm gonna be showing you guys four unique models and the first one being my mask. Look at this! This is my mask! I am wearing my mask in Cube World. Somebody went ahead and made a model for my wolf mask, my Minecraft skin, which is pretty awesome. The only way you could obtain the mask is if you make yourself a new character, you make sure it's a human, you go to phase two, and then you have to change the haircut. I would recommend to try out a uh, haircut 11 throughout 15. If you try out the other hairstyles, you might not get the results that you want because check this out. You see this? How does this look like my wolf mask? The hair is like completely covering the mask. If you go over here, look at this. This stuff doesn't even match my wolf mask and I don't want it a part of my like official character you see this what what is this and there's so many different type of colors you could pick I have no doubt that if you try out this hairstyle with my mask then you're probably gonna get all the ladies in cube world I'm just I'm just saying you know I'm just pretty awesome model and credit to the actual creator which is called max man minor and uh, yeah links in the description if you guys want to download it next model now the next model replacement requires a pet a dog in particular the Collie! Now I normally don't use the Collie for anything, I know you could travel with them, though I use the SnowRunner instead. I just happen to grab the Collie because I'm trying to capture all the, you know, the Pokemon. Excuse me, Steven. Oh wait, what? It's not Minecraft Daily. Oh, it's not Minecraft Daily? <laughs> Wrong series. So as you guys can see, the Collie was replaced with a new model, which is the Tron Light Cycles. Oh my gosh, this is just so cool. So if you guys ever wanted one of these things, look at this. Fear no more. We now have ourselves a light cycle in Cube World, so now you could travel as if you're riding a dog, but instead you are riding a Tron Light Cycle. Now look at the way I ride this light cycle. Just don't post a comment saying this is not cool, because this is really cool. And if you do post a comment, I know where you're at, you know, I could find those comment sections, I, I swear to god, man. So yeah, there you guys go, it's a new model replacement, and it's from the same creator as in the last model I showed you guys in my last video, the same creator, which is named Borothos, or... I, I know I completely murdered his username. Whoa! No! The Tron Cycle blew up! So the creator not only made this spaceship, which was featured in episode 1, but he also made a Tron Cycle. Now remember that the Tron Cycle is still considered a pet, it's just a model replacement. It's gonna be battling all of your friends, and most likely lose because it's not really high leveled. And there we go, it just blew up. So if you guys are probably wondering, where do you get yourself a Collie? Well, if you make yourself a new world, and if you place it as the seed number, 12897, you'll be able to generate a world where there's gonna be a village where they sell the right material for you to get yourself a collie, which is bubblegum. I'll be making my way to that village with my fancy new hang glider. Now when I first pulled out the glider, I was like really confused. I didn't know where this glider came from, but then again, I checked the downloads and it kind of looks like the same guy who made my mask for Cube World, the Max Man Miner dude, included this glider inside the download, so pretty awesome. So here at the village, you have to find the potion store, which is right here. Go inside the potion store and speak with the first lady that you see. What the? I'm no lady. Sure you are, buddy. So look what the shopkeeper has to offer and look for the bubblegum. You'll notice that it looks completely different. It has a model replacement. So this right here is the bubblegum. Now it has been replaced with the baton, so you can no longer eat your guys' bubblegum. Sorry guys, <laughs> you lost your bubblegum. <laughs> Look around the town and you might be able to find yourself a collie hanging around and there's one right there, which looks like a light cycle. So if I grab myself my baton, he's gonna start to eat the baton and you might notice that the heart was now replaced with a circle, a Tron circle. What? I don't even know what that is, really. I, it's just a big circle. Anyways, now that you got yourself a Collie, you could ride him to the distance and have your adventure with the light cycle. Oh, look at your juggle! So if you guys remember my previous review, I was trying to show you guys Shrek. Well, Shrek is now done and it is fixed. Look at him. Now it is Shrek and he's going to be chasing. It's a model replacement for the ogre. Out of all of the model replacements I've showed you guys, Shrek is probably one of my top because not only I like Shrek and his personality and stuff from the movies, but he does get in fact angry and he comes at you hard. And you guys know how strong ogres are. So imagine facing Shrek with your Tron machine. Oh, it's going to be a battle. Shrek, Shrek, please. I was just joking about Fiona. Come on. Oh, what? 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 What the? Oh, um, we got a bug. Ew. Oh, please, guys, stop. No. You guys killed my best friend. Shrek, can you hear me? I'm going to make you guys pay. This is it. Take this. Oh, no, light cycle. Dang it. You weren't supposed to go in there. Our next model is gonna be a replacement for the bomb. Take a good look at the default bomb and you'll notice that it's gonna transform itself 
into Bob Bomb. I'm a really huge fan of Super Mario games, and I really like this bomb, especially in Super Smash Brothers when you throw it at your friend's face and you laugh at him because he's going flying outside the stage and stuff. Anyways, this bomb looks really cute. It's like looking at a little doggy just jump on top of a couch and just wants to get pet. There's a lot of things you could do with bombs in Cube World. You could blow up the train, you could go out mining, you could fly past a village, drop a lot of bombs on the roof, blow them up, get them angry, get banned from the server, all that crazy stuff with these bombs. You could probably even visit a dungeon and notice that the bomb has also been replaced in there too, even on the table. But with all that said guys, we are now done reviewing all of those four unique models in Cube World. I think I showed you guys about like five of them, but it doesn't really matter. And if you guys hit about 2,000 likes even on this video, then the next video I'm going to show you guys four unique models. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys are interested in any of these models, you want to know how to install these models in your Cube World game, well then, let's go ahead and see how to install these models. Thanks for the support guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode, yeah! Alright, so let's go ahead and install these models. First off, I'm going to be using the same exact tutorial and every review I'm going to be making because the installation for every single model pack is quite the same. It's not even difficult at all. So first off, make sure that you own Cube World to revert back to your previous, you know, Cube World data just in case anything happens. Then I'll show you guys how to revert and how to do all that stuff. Anyways, what you're going to be doing is clicking on the annotation above this video where it says download these models or links in description for the forums. So anyways, in this tutorial, I'm going to be installing Chocobo, the Chocobo, uh, you know, model replacement, and you're going to be downloading the Assets browser. So download all of the models that you want and just drag them all to the desktop. So here's Chocobos, and you have to make sure you have the Assets browser. What this is, it's a program that allows you to open up Cube World's data and, you know, uh, kind of add in files and, you know, extract things. No, I don't think you could extract, but as of right now, you're able to replace models. So let's go ahead and begin this with the assets browser. What you're going to do is double click this zip and you're going to see some files in here. So what you're going to be doing with this files is you're going to be making a new folder for those assets browsers. So right click new folder and I'm going to call it AB for assets browser. And what you're going to be doing now is highlighting these files and drag them into the AB folder that you just created. So now we don't have to worry about the zip anymore because everything is inside this folder. Double click that folder and here's the assets browser, the application. So open up that application right here. And now what we're going to be doing with this application is going here to file and open. So you're going to open up your Cube World folder. So go here to file open and you have to locate the actual folder. So let me show you the path of going over there. Let me just minus everything. So when you open it up for the first time, it's going to look like this. It's going to say desktop libraries, your name and computer. Open up the computer tab right here. There's a little arrow. Open that up. You're going to see local C. Click on local C. Scroll down where it says program files. Open up program files. Scroll more down. Uh, it's not program files, it's program files x86. So make sure you get the x86 version for Windows 7. Scroll down more and you'll see right here Cube World. Click on the Cube World folder and press OK. All right. So once you have done that, you're going to see data 1, 2, 3, and 4. And you don't have to worry about 2, 3, or 4 because it's the same thing as data 1. Everything is all in one. That's why it's called data 1. Anyways, uh, here's data 1. And what you're going to be doing is installing every single little, you know, Cube World model inside data one. You can't install in data two, three, or four. Just make sure you're at data one and just leave it at data one. So what you're going to be doing now is you're going to be downloading the models that you want to replace. Here's the chocobo. I'm going to open up the zip and inside the zip, there's a folder called chocobo. Open that up just to, you know, look around just to see what's, you know, around uh, because you're looking for the files that actually have the .cub, which is .cub. If it does have that, then you are good to go. So since Chocobo's download is quite different. There's two different versions. There's the one without the seat and there's the Chocobo with the seat. If you want the Chocobo with the seat, go ahead and highlight this folder and drag it to the desktop. There you go. So what you're doing is you're extracting all of the CUB files from the zip into the desktop. So here it is. Now it's in a folder. I'm going to double click this and you'll see that it says peacockbody.cub. It's going to be replacing the peacock. Now if you download something else, let's say if you would happen to download, let's say here the spaceship glider. Here's the spaceship glider here. You're going to double click this and you're going to see that it says glider.cub. That's all you need. And here's the installation tutorial and rules. So here's the glider.cub. Highlight that and drag it to the desktop. And there you go. 
So now they have the glider.cub in the desktop. You could just replace the glider from Cube World, and all it is is just one single file replacement. And that's it. So once you have everything that you need, and just in case you download, let's say, Pokemon, and there's like a hundred folders in there, what you're going to be doing is making a folder. So I'm going to right click new folder and just call it PKMon or something. And just open up that PKMon and just pretend this is the Pokemon zip. Double click and you'll see like a hundred folders. Highlight all those hundred folders and drag it to your PKMon uh, folder. So you're able to like simply go to the files and stuff and just highlight and drag it over to the assets browser. Anyways, once you have got everything that you need, just make sure that you have the .cub ready. And right here I have the chokeable stuff and this is what chokeable replaces the body, the feather, the feet and the head. And once you have all that ready, let's go ahead and do this. So go back here to the assets browser and you'll see that it says data one. Click here on edit, all right? Data one, edit, insert. So once you go to edit, insert, you're gonna locate those files. So first off, let's just get the, uh, here's the cactus right here. That's all it requires, just one cactus uh, replacement. But I'm going to look for the glider, which should be right here, glider.cub. Once you do that, press open, and there you go. Now you have inserted the file into here, and you are ready to go. But let's go ahead and mess with the chokeable stuff. So I'm going to go here to edit, import. You have to do this every single time for every single class. So edit, insert. Now I'm going to locate the chokeable folder, which is right here, chokeable with seat. Open that up. And here is everything. You cannot press control and highlight everything or shift. Uh, you have to do this all manual. So click on the first one, which is peacock body. Press open. All right. Go here to edit, insert. And now do it for the feather. Open. Now go here to edit, insert. Now do it for the foot. Open. And now go here again. Uh, edit, insert, and click on the last one, which is the head. You have to go back over and over and over and over and over. And for doing it for Pokemon, it's really long, but it's totally worth it, you know, at the end. Anyways, here's the chokeable last thing, which is the head. Press open, and there you go. Once you have installed everything that you need, all of their file replacements, here is the cactus, which is just one download file. And it's not inside a zip. If it's not inside a zip, you could just simply go here to file, insert, and find the actual. Uh, file which is right here cactus and just press open that's it all you're doing is just highlighting these uh you know dot cubs uh and just inserting it into the data one folder anyways guys that is it once you have done all that you are ready to go so once you're done go here to file exit and you have to exit off the assets browser and now let's launch cube world you cannot launch cube world with the actual application itself what you have to do is go to its reboot menu and in order to do that, or the reboot launcher, what you're going to do is go here to start, go here to computer, and go here to local C, double click local C, go here to program files x86, open that up, and go to the Cube World folder. Open up Cube World, and here you go. This is the reboot, or this is like the backup uh, application, and it's just called Cube Application. That's it. Do not go here to Cube Launcher. Just go here to Cube Application, double click that, give it some time, and it should be able to open up itself. And there you go. Now go here to start, go into any world you want. I'm going to go here and uh, there you have it. That is how to install models into Cube World. Just make sure that you don't launch the original launcher, uh, you know, because it's not going to work. And uh, yeah, so there you have it. Just run the uh, Cube application and you'll be able to run around with your uh, special, you know, models and stuff. If I press G, I do have the spaceship so you guys could see it's right there. So now that I have replaced the models to my liking, such as the glider and, you know, the chocobos and all that stuff, let's say you want to delete, um, you know, your, your models. What you can do is exit the game. So I'm going to exit the game and it's probably going to take some time. So let me just pause the video real quick for it to close the game. So now that the game is done and it just closed itself, let's go ahead and restart Cube World. We're going to remove all of the models that we replaced. So you're going to go here to start, click on uh, computer, go here to local C, open up your program files x86 for Windows uh, 7. Now locate the Cube World folder, which should be right here. And what you're going to be doing is highlighting data 1, 2, 3, and 4 by holding control and delete them. So delete data 1, 2, 3, 4 right here, these files which are the DB files, so delete them. And what you're going to be doing is go back to the Cube World actual website and download the latest version of Cube World and install it over again. So you have to reinstall Cube World and don't worry, you're not going to lose your saves, any of that stuff. It's going to be still there. So uh, just delete data one, two, and three and just download the latest version of Cube World. Install Cube World all over again. That's just like force updating. And there you have it. Now you're able to play Cube World without any model replacements. 
So that is basically it on how to install the models. Hopefully it wasn't that confusing. If you guys got confused, then I might make a new tutorial very soon. And also, if you guys still need help, be sure to check out my help forums where you'll get the help that you need. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. See you guys later.